Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Could you please introduce yourself? My name is Ratan Budatoki. I'm working with Neva, Nepal Water for Health in Nepal as a knowledge management and advocacy manager. Okay. Um, could you tell us why monitoring is important for you? Thank you. The monitoring is impo very important uh, topic and very important tools that uh, for me it looks like as we are, I'm working in water and sanitation sector so monitoring is uh, a very good tool to track the progress, to, to monitor the quality of work, to uh, track the really the services are going to the poor and excluded and marginalized group or not and uh, to ensure that the process is going on in right way or not or uh, similarly to ensure that the projects are the investment is going on in on right uh, area and right groups and the systems are functioning or not during the implementation and uh, post implementation throughout the whole project cycles the projects are whether going uh, on right track or not functioning or not so to check all these kind of things and correct accordingly so it is very important monitoring is always important in every step I think. okay okay Ratan. Um, could you give some examples of what uh, NEWA the organization you're working for is doing on monitoring okay NEWA is basically working in the WAS sector in rural areas of Nepal and it has been working as a WAS service delivery, capacity building and advocacy and influencing to see the WAS service delivery part like we have been facilitating the community monitoring systems at the project level and uh, uh, project uh, quality construction, ensure the quality construction of the water supply systems and are these systems constructed by involving the gender, social inclusion as aspects and ensuring all the participations of the users is ensured or not, all the agencies. So these kind of thing, things are uh, used by NEVA during the project completion and construction phase and after NEVA does during the project construction period and after the construction phase in two phases. So, after the project construction, what we do is like post follow up projects, we do for two years after project completion and uh, two times, four times, our staff members from the support section visits and support the water and sanitation users committees and we do also hello monitoring also through the phones, everyone has nowadays with mobile phones, yeah. water users committee members and the system caretakers also are contacted through the phone number, mobile phones and our support staff ask them hello how is the system functioning or not, your meeting is going to organize regularly or not and what is, is there any problem that NEVA can help so we check from that this way so these are some of the initiatives we have been doing and uh, every three to four years we also conduct a kind of impact study for our program programs whether our system are really functioning or not so these are some kind of examples that I can share with you okay thanks very much for that yeah. and Ratan what do you see uh, in the future what kind of monitoring activities do you think NEVA is going to undertake Great. The future is really going to be the age of the monitoring, effective monitoring, I think. Because now, so far, we have been working uh, and monitoring the whether the access is, people have access to water sanitation services or not. Now, the time has come to shift towards, like, the performance monitoring. Like, the number of, in, the, in case of Nepal, more than 85% populations data shows that more than 85% population has access to water and sanitation services. But if you look from the functionality perspective of systems, only 18% uh, people have access to well-functioning systems okay. and around 39% population uh, ac have access with the systems who, which require minor repairs and around 19% population has access to the systems which require major rehabilitation. So if you see from these facts, the functionality has become one of the major issues in Nepal. So monitoring would be really uh, focused on to us ensuring the functionality of the water supply systems in Nepal. So uh, NEVA, for NEVA also it, is, it would be very important 
uh, to improve Neva's capacity, Neva's can focus on monitoring aspect, uh, particularly like we have been working with the Dutch Water Alliance, and the Dutch Water Alliance is uh, facilitating to integrate and mainstream the fierce approach and principles in Nepal like financial, technical, uh, institutional, environmental, and social uh, sustainability to ensure that uh, long-term sustainability of water supply systems. And the charity water is helping us to start with the remote censoring processes. So that would be one of the area for NEVA. And water aid also supporting to in integrate and utilize the water point mapping and functionality mapping uh, tools. So as we are working with these tools, new approaches and tools, it would be very important for NEVA to strengthen the monitoring systems. So that's why I am here. Uh, in this uh, monitoring the sustainable sustainable was services here it would be great opportunity for for me to take some of the good lessons and help neva nepal was alliance and the was sector as well in nepal okay thank you very much thank you, thank you.